summary tasks are the best way to organize a task list. When organizing the tasks for a project, you can group the tasks that share characteristics or that will be completed in the same time frame under a summary task. You can use the summary task to show the major phases and subphases in the project. Summary tasks summarize the data of their subtasks, which are the tasks that are grouped beneath them. You can indent the tasks as many levels as you need to reflect the organization of your project. There are two main methods for organizing your task list. With the top-down method, you identify the major phases first and then break the phases into individual tasks. The top-down method gives you a version of the plan as soon as you decide on the major phases. After you decide on a method for organizing your tasks, you can begin outlining them into summary tasks and subtasks in Project 2030. Summary tasks can be identified on the table by a small triangle next to their task name like this. It is very easy to expand or collapse the summary task. Just click on the triangle to do so. Currently, you are seeing the high-level, top-down view of the project as all the subtasks have been collapsed and you can only view the summary tasks. There is an easy way to view the complete set of subtasks and we shall do that now. First, go to the View tab and click on the Outline button. In the drop-down, select All Subtasks option and the complete set of subtasks open up. In some situations, you might want to view or print only a certain level of depth of the project. For example, when reporting to senior management on the progress of the project, you might want to present only the top two levels of the project. That can be done very easily by clicking on Outline button and selecting what level of details to be shown. There are another couple of ways that you can view the task list. For example, suppose you want to remove all the summary tasks from the view and only see the actual work tasks. You can go to the Format tab and in the Show Hide section here, click on the checkbox for summary tasks. That will hide all the rows that contain summary tasks and only show the work tasks. Getting the summary tasks back again will be to turn the checkbox on. There is a root level summary task that denotes the entire project and it can be turned on by clicking the project summary task like this. So in this lesson, we have seen how summary tasks help us make a complicated task list easier to understand and to present to various stakeholders and generally make it much more manageable. One final point to understand is that summary task values don't always add up. Some ta summary task values like cost and work are the total of the subtask values whereas others, duration and baseline, need not always add up. This is because of the way the project might be scheduled.